This video is the instructions on how to install your Magic Jack Plus. It is probably one of the easiest things I've ever installed and I tried to videotape it as I was doing it and it really is irrelevant because the instructions are exactly the way it happened. Now, there's a few things you might have questions on but if you get on, uh, if you ask a, us through our website or our YouTube channel and you're stuck uh, we could probably answer it real quick, but basically you unpackage it. We've got a video on the unpackaging already. You plug in the Magic Jack unit into your USB. So you just plug it into any USB port. Now the one part that is a little bit confusing and it can be difficult is if the power light doesn't come on on the back side of the Magic Jack here, try a different USB port. I actually had this happen where I went to go plug it in and step two, where the software automatically starts, wasn't happening. And what I realized was is that USB port does, didn't have the power uh, getting sent to it to power up the Magic Jack. So all I did was switch it to another port, and it worked beautifully. Uh, if you have Windows, this is what it's going to look like. If you have a Mac, this is what it's going to look like. I installed mine on a Mac. I literally plugged it in. This immediately popped up. You double-click it. It takes a... Uh, few seconds and then step three happens this screen comes up and basically says welcome to magic jack uh, you click here and then what it'll do is what it's going to ask you to do is to uh, type in your area code that you would like your number to be assigned to you it's extremely simple it is step by step it's very very simple so it's going to ask you um, what your area code is that you currently live in It'll give you some options. The options might not be the area code that you have because there might not be any available on that area code, but they'll have the cities listed. It's extremely easy. So that's what this step is right here. And then it's going to give you, an, step four, it'll give you an activation code, okay? So what you're going to look for is, um, you'll see, a, you'll, you'll click the activate uh, through the process of registering, and then you'll be emailed. This is really important. Um, it says it right here. It says, when prompted, you're gonna active you're gonna enter in your activation code. How this works is you when you register, you register your magic jack with an email. Then through um, the registration step by step process, you'll be emailed this activation code. Okay, so check your email after you do that. It's very, very simple. You enter it here and it's activated. Here's the other part, and then you're essentially done. You've got your phone number, you've got your activation. Uh, there are some steps uh, during this registration process where you can get insurance, replacement insurance, things like that. Alright, so if you're going to use it without a computer, there is a, um, an outlet wall plug that you just plug in the USB side into the plug. This is your Ethernet cable from your router, and this is the phone line going either phone or your fax. If you're going to leave it in your computer, like for example, if you have a desktop and you're leaving it in the back of your computer, all you have to do is plug in the phone line port, and then you don't need the Ethernet here. So it is very easy. The only other part is uh, to mention is if it doesn't uh, activate when you first plug it in, it says pull it out for a good three minutes. Um, I personally would also reboot the computer and just start from scratch. Um, it mentions here the uh, trying another USB if it doesn't power up. I already mentioned that. And um, it does say monthly maintenance. Unplug your router. Wait 60 seconds and turn it back on um, if you have any issues. But that is as easy and as simple as it is. So plug it into a USB. Wait for the software to start. Uh, activate and register your unit. Get the four-digit code off the email. And then either plug it into the wall or into a USB port in your computer. And it took me about 10 minutes to do this and I had a phone line activated uh, through this awesome little device. Hope that helps.